Hi Booktube! Lynette here and today's video is going to be about the September TBR. Now you may have guessed from the title of this video and from my thumbnail that I don't really have a set TBR for this month. That is because I'm not really sure how I'm going to be picking the books I want to read. So there are a couple of readathons going on this month. There is the Bookopolathon run by Becca over at Becca and the Books, and there is the Magical Readathon hosted by G over at Book Roast. I'm thinking of maybe trying to do a combination of the two of them. Um, I'm not 100% certain on what I'm going to do, or I might just leave the Magical Readathon and do that in October instead. However, I'm going to do something. I just, at the point that I'm filming this, haven't decided what. I need to watch. G's video in a bit more detail um, to make some more notes and figure it out and also with uh, Becca um, because I only picked up the details over the weekend I don't have access to a printer so I haven't been able to print the Monopoly board and haven't had time yet to actually create recreate the Monopoly board um, in a notebook or anything yet either so I have to uh, try and figure out how I'm going to do that so yeah that's what i'm thinking about doing so those are my two choices that i'm thinking about um however other than that my choice is to just mood read for the month which is kind of what i did in august um but i didn't really read very much at all in august in the end um spoiler for my august wrap up when that comes up um but yes i ha do have three books that i have to read this month and that is because they are are advanced reader copies first one of those I should have read in August and that book is Traitors of the Black Crown by Kate Pearce. I have talked about this in previous months. It is an LGBTQ plus romance. Um, it's also fantasy and it's about a woman who has to uh, kill the queen and in doing so she falls in love with another character but also the queen then joins their side as well and she's torn and they have to save the kingdom. Uh, it comes out on the 22nd of September so I do have a couple of weeks to read it but it is a high priority for me to read at the beginning of the month so that I can get the review up on time before release day because I do if I'm going to review books that I'm given I do like to have them read before release date so that I have the review ready for release day. How many times in one video can you say release day? Don't do shots it might kill you with this one. So the two other advanced reader copies I have are both October releases. As I've said in past videos, I try to read my advanced reader copies the month before they're due out to give me plenty of time to write a review and formulate my thoughts uh, so that I can give something that actually makes some sense on paper. Uh, so the first of these, um, I'm not doing this in particular order, but the first book that I want to read is He Said Never by Ruth Cardello. This is what sounds a bit like a mafia romance, I'm not 100% certain. I've, re I've just found out that it's also the second book in a series, however I think it's a series of standalones, so it's following different people. And it's following the Corisi family, and they're finding their happy ever afters. So this book is about Riley, and it's about um, a young man called Gavin, and they meet um, because Riley has found out that she has this whole family that she didn't know about and yeah she doesn't want her mum to know that she's also found out about this family either um, and then Gavin on the other side he has been told by his family that to inherit the family business he has to produce a fiance so I think there might be some fake dating trope going on here so I'm looking forward to that because I do quite enjoy that and the laughs that it can bring Although I don't think it will be funny as much as it would be serious. But yes, I am looking forward to picking this one up. This one doesn't release until the 22nd of October. Um, so I've got a bit of time to read it. And I will hopefully enjoy this one and it will give me some light relief. And I'll be able to work it into one of the readathons that I might be doing this month. And the third and final book that I have to read as an advanced reader copy is um, Midnight in Everwood by M.A. Kuzniar. This is a magical realism retelling of The Nutcracker. It's based in the early 1900s in Nottingham and it's about a woman, Marietta, who is a ballet dancer 
and it's in the run set in the run up to Christmas 1906 and in the new year she's expected to become engaged and marry uh, to further the family's standing in society. Um, however, a strange and mysterious toy maker moves into a townhouse next door and introduces her to the world of magic and fantasy and he creates um, a ballet, a final ballet for her to perform and yeah we have a whole mysterious retelling of the Nutcracker. I've never seen the Nutcracker. Um, ballet isn't something that I'm into so it's not something I've ever really I've, I've kind of got half an idea of what it's about, but not really. Um, so I'll be interested to read this. I enjoy retellings anyway. So yes, this will be interesting for me to read. Um, that one comes out on the 28th of October. So again, that will probably be the third one. But yes, hopefully it will fit in with maybe... I can think of a couple of squares on the um, Bacopoly board that it could fit in with. I'm not sure whether it would fit with uh, any of G's prompts, which like I say, I need to look into that a bit more and uh, work out what I'm going to do if I can do that one. So yeah, so looking forward to picking up all three of those advanced reader copies in September and getting those read and reviewed and uploaded. Uh, so other than that, it's just my book club pick and I can't remember the name of it, can't remember the author, it's something to do with where the forest meets the stars or something like that. Um, I've ordered it from the library so hopefully that will arrive soon um, but I'm not 100% certain that that's what it is. That is at the moment the one that is in the lead in the poll but Jess is on, been on away so she hasn't announced yet what the winner is so it could change. Some people might not have... Uh, voted yet so we'll see where we go from there. Other than that it's just going to be mood reading. Um, I have a couple of books that I would like to try and fit into the readathon, readathon if I possibly can. The first of those is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. This is a Greek myth retelling of um, Ariadne, Theseus and the Minotaur and it's a romance, fantasy romance, so I really, really want to look at getting this one picked up very, very soon. It's a beautiful, beautiful cover. I absolutely adore it. Um, but I have recently read a book which has given me a taste for Greek mythology, so looking forward to it. And this keeps catching my eye because it's got this gorgeous spine um, and I sleep opposite my bookshelf. So when I wake up in the morning, all I can see is this gold foiled spine staring at me from the top of my shelves. So that's one that I definitely like to try and build in if I can. Another book that's been calling from the top of my bookshelves is Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the second book in her Morrigan Crow series. Um, it's about a young girl who, when she turns 11, finds out that she's more than she thought she was. And I read book one back in June and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm looking forward to picking up book two and I would really like to pick this up very, very soon if I can. Um, and I think it would definitely fit with at least one, if not two or more prompts set by Becca. And if I look into G's uh, prompts more fully, then it will probably fit with hers as well. Other than that, that's it. I can't really think of anything else that's calling to me at the moment. Um, I'm not in the mood for reading on my Kindle so much, although I'm going to have to because that's where the advanced reader copies are. But my bookshelves are definitely calling to me because I have so many on there now um, that, yeah, I, I really need to get a move on with them and start, yeah, start reading some of them that are on there because I'm looking at them and I can see the ones that I haven't read. And that just makes me really happy that I can see all my books uh, now that I've got the new shelves. There is um, a bookshelf tour for my actual physical shelves. I will leave that link down below as well for you if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing in September as far as reading is concerned. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to the channel. I've been watching my subscribers grow quite recently and it's been really lovely to see that more and more of you are coming on board and enjoying my videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.